Uh, so the spacecraft has one key decision left to make. Uh, it's calculating right now the probability that it's going to come down uh, either on a hazardous area, as we defined on that hazard map, or in a safe area. So we may, at five meters, the spacecraft may decide that it's hazardous and it's going to back away, allowing us to live the tag another day. So to me, uh, all my senses are on that call out right now. Yeah. I really want to hear that we are go for tag. So that's just a couple minutes away here. And of course, remember that that was planned for. That, you know, that it that's has, right. It has to know it's safe. Otherwise, it's going to back up and try again another time. That's really how we solve the amazing challenges that this <laughs> asteroid surface presented to us. You can see here that this is a pretty daunting terrain that we're coming down here. Uh, there's giant boulders all around the Nightingale site, even some large rocks inside the crater that we do not think the spacecraft would survive, at least uh, with the ability to return back to Earth if it made contact. Uh, so it is there to protect itself first and foremost. Safety is always first. Uh, but we're feeling pretty good. Everything's gone really well today, so I would say uh, things are looking great for, for a tag. But of course, the spacecraft is the one that gets to make that decision. It's just amazing. You know, we've been rehearsing this event you know, all week long, all the different <laughs> mission calls and milestones. But then to actually be here tonight and realize that this is going on 200 million miles away. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. <laughs> so I mean, there were obviously a lot of firsts in this mission. OREX oh. MSA on OREX Ops. OREX has processed its next message. Position uncertainty is 0 0.5 meters. <laughs> Predicted tag lateral offset is 1.7 meters. Hazard probability is 0%. Tag lateral velocity is 0 0.2 millimeters per second. Oh my God. Tag vertical velocity <laughs> is 10.2 centimeters per second. That sounded really good. Yes. So it sounds like the hazard <laughs> map calculation looks really good. It, 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 we're, we're coming down on a green area. We're going to make contact with the asteroid surface. Oh, well, so remember how historic this. This is NASA's first mission to retrieve a sample from an asteroid, yeah. a pristine part of the solar system. That's Just right. look at that animation now. So we're looking I'm at I'm looking the at the team, I think. Uh. That, you know, I think we can see everybody is laser focused on what the spacecraft's going to do. So I say let's let this play out. Uh. But those calls were really great. That was great news from Dale. Yeah. Even more accurate than we'd hoped for in some cases. seems happy. Yeah. So I guess you know, there were obviously a lot of firsts in this mission. And you know, there was a time when you said, you know, a lot of what ifs, basically. You know, I mean, what if we could actually send a spacecraft to an asteroid? What if we really could bring back a sample of the solar system from billions of years ago? Did you remember where you were when those, those what if OREX questions? MSA on OREX off. OREX has descended below the five meter mark. The hazard map is go for tag. Contact expected in 50 seconds. We're going in. We're going, We're going in. in. <laughs> Touchdown declared. <gasps> All right. Sampling is in progress. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> we're there, folks. That was amazing. I mean, I don't know if you saw the team here, but they just kind of blew up. They went from being steely eyed to like, celebrating the Super Bowl. So um, so uh, it, it's all good. Uh, this is amazing. So congratulations, everybody. I know that Dante and Dr. Zabrukin are right here. And Dante, you somehow fig got over here pretty quick. I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. How are you guys feeling? Uh, transcendental. I mean, I can't believe we actually pulled this off. But I'm so excited about the team. Yeah. Hey, do you mind if I just bring up something? Please. Our friends. Mike Drake is with us right now. That's the right. guy who came up with the mission at the beginning, and uh, we're thinking of him. He's no longer on Earth today. I feel him right here. I agree. He's with us today, and, he, and I know he's incredibly proud of this team and everything we have accomplished. This is history. Uh, it's amazing. God, I can barely speak. You know, I'm like shaking. How about you? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it, it's almost hard to process everything that's happening right now. It's, it's overwhelming pride in this team and everything we've done to get here. Uh, I couldn't uh, r really have anything better to say about this group of people. I'll say games of systems, I can I'll confirm that the battery burned. Oh, OREX MSA on OREX OP. Right now, Sample collection is complete, and the back away burn has executed. Back away from the All right. We're on our way back.
<laughs> now, Dante, that was actually a really important call. We were celebrating on the tag, yeah. but that was actually probably an even more important call. Why is that? The pyro bottles fired, <laughs> so Tag Sam operated. The back away thrusters fired, so we're safely moving away from the asteroid surface. The spacecraft did everything it was supposed to do. Uh, so we did it. We tagged the surface of the asteroid, and it's up to Bennu now to see how the event went.